Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will cover how to create base maps, how to edit the base map layer properties, and how to perform simple editing commands on the objects within the base layer. Base maps, plot images, points, lines, or areas are created from imported or downloaded files. These files can either be vector files like DXF or shape files, image files like JPEG or TIFF, or ASCII data files. If the file is georeferenced, it will import the appropriate real-world map coordinates. To create a new base map, click Home, New Map, Base, and select one of the four base map options. Click Base to create an empty base map by importing a vector or image file. Click Base from Data to create a base map by importing a data file. Click Base from Server to create a base map by downloading imagery or vectors from a WMS server. Or click Empty Base Map and add a base layer without any data. We will click Base to load in a vector file. In the Import dialog, choose your image or vector file and click Open. The base map is created with the default properties. We can expand the base layer in the Contents window to see each of the objects within the layer. In this case, the layer contains polygons for each of the counties of New Hampshire. You can edit properties of the base layer and of the individual objects within the base layer. To edit the properties of the base layer, select the layer in the Contents window. All of the properties for the layer are displayed in the Properties window. Changing any properties in the Properties window will automatically update the map. The General page contains many generic options. In the Input File section, next to the file name in the Input File field, you can click the Open File button to change or reload the file used to create the base layer. And you can click the Save File button to save the file out as a new file. In the Symbology section, you can click the Edit Symbology button to open a Symbology dialog where you can define properties based on an attribute value. In the Properties section, you are presented with the properties that apply to the objects within the layer. Since this layer only contains polygons, we see line, fill, and shadow properties. If our layer contained text objects, we would see font properties. And if our layer contained symbols, we would see symbol properties. Base layers containing only images will show an Image Properties section where you can edit image properties, as well as a Spatial Extent section where you can edit georeferencing. You will see Raster in the default layer name for base layers containing only images, and you will see Vector in the default layer name for base layers containing only vector objects. On the Labels page, you can label the objects with an attribute. GSB files like this one, MIF files, and shape files are just some of the file formats that support attributes. To label the properties with an attribute, select the type of label from the Label Source drop-down list. You can choose from any of the attributes, or you can choose to use a template. If you choose to use a template, you can type directly into the field, or click the Text Editor button in the Template field to create a template. Templates can display multiple attributes and additional text. Below the template, we can set the position of the labels relative to the polygon center point, the label angle, and the label font properties. Labels can also be moved individually by clicking Map Tools, Edit Layer, Layer Labels, and clicking and dragging the labels where you'd like them. Press Escape on your keyboard when finished. The Layer page is where you control the opacity for the entire base map layer. You can adjust the opacity using the slide bar or by typing in a new value. The Coordinate System page displays the coordinate system of the file used to create the base map layer. If the name shown is Unreferenced Local System, the layer does not have a coordinate system associated with it. To manually set the coordinate system or load in a georeferencing file that contains the coordinate system information,
click the Set button. The Info page displays information about the selected object. For objects in the base map, this information could include length or area measurements or attribute information. The measurements in the Geometry section can be displayed in Map Units or in Page Units. If you want to change the Map Units, you can do so in the Properties for the Map. For the Base Map layer itself, there usually isn't any information to display here. An object can be deleted from the base layer by selecting it and pressing the Delete key on your keyboard. The properties of an individual object within the base map layer can be edited by selecting the object and then editing the properties on the appropriate page of the Properties window. Properties of one object can easily be copied to another by selecting the object and clicking Home, Clipboard, Copy Format. Select the other object of interest and click Paste Format. Attributes for an individual object can be edited by selecting the object and changing the attribute on the Info page. You can add an additional attribute by clicking the Add button You can rename an attribute by clicking the Rename button, and you can delete an attribute by clicking the Delete button. The coordinates for polygons, polylines, and points can be edited on the Coordinates tab. Polygons and polylines can be reshaped within the base map layer by selecting the object and clicking Features. Edit Features, Reshape. This concludes the video training for creating and editing base maps in Surfer. For more information on advanced base layer editing, such as using the attribute table or entering base layer groups to perform operations such as adding objects to the base layer, querying, or changing properties of multiple objects, see our Advanced Editing of Base Maps Objects training video. To see how to use the Symbology feature to assign properties to base map objects based on an attribute value, see our Base Symbology training video. And if you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.